I'm Sabina, manager of the Education Art Collection at the CMA. So I've been working from home, thinking about our current situation. I've been revisiting some of my favorite works of art that really reflect my current mood. Lately, Albrecht Durer's Melancholy One has been on my mind. It's a print made in Renaissance Germany in 1514. Prints were the new form of mass media at the time. This work is an engraving made by incising a design into a metal plate, inking the plate, and running it through the press. These days, I relate to the main character's brooding. She's surrounded by tools that could be picked up to make something useful, but instead, she just sits there. She's the personification of melancholy, what today we might call depression. In Dura's time, it was believed that there were four fluids that ran through our bodies and the relative amount of each, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, would explain why we are the way we are. Think of it as a Renaissance version of a personality test. Too much black bile and you were melancholic, but on the upside, you're also thought to have great intellectual powers. So you might be like this woman shown here, capable of great things, but inactive or uninspired. I see myself in her as I sit here in my makeshift home office with books and files at my feet in search of inspiration and motivation. In an attempt to fix this, I've been taking a deep dive into the CMA's online collection. I've gained an appreciation for online looking because I can see works that are in storage and like this engraving play with the Zoom feature. For example, although I've poured over this engraving many, many times, I just recently noticed an incredible detail I've never seen before. The hem on the bottom of this figure's skirt. It was details like this that first drew me in. The beauty of the wings based on Durer's studies from nature. The wreath of watercress around the woman's head. The fur of the sleeping dog. And the tongue sticking out of the bat's mouth. Scholars say there's probably been more written about this engraving than any other in all of art history. For over 500 years, people have been trying to figure out what all the individual parts mean, how they fit together, and what story they tell. This leaves us today to wonder things like, what is that letter doing there? Is that really a skull on that tetrahedron shaped stone? Or why is there a magic square? In a magic square, the numbers add up to the same number in every direction, horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, which in this case is 34. But what did any of this mean to the artist? I find this work engages my mind and my emotions. I find comfort in puzzling over the same issues of personality and creativity that people have been wrestling with for over five centuries. Durer was groundbreaking in his innovative use of printmaking. He created more 3D lifelike effects than had ever been seen before. And this in spite of himself perhaps being melancholic and living through outbreaks of plague, political turmoil, and religious rebellions. I find this work hopeful because even though it's about melancholy and lack of insight, its very existence is proof that Durer worked through all of that and created this masterpiece. If you'd like to take a closer look at the engraving or read more about it, visit cma.org. Thank you for joining me today and be well.